Tonight at London's Barbican Centre, we're already celebrating the opening of an ambitious new musical, which seems certain to offer stiff competition. Keep on surprising me as well as the public. Is that the year? How much longer do you think it'll go? At least not the time.
who's for what and why and where. Let him give a full description, let him answer to Javert. In this nest of whores and vipers, let one speak who saw it all. Who laid hands on this good man here, what's the substance of this role? Javert, would you believe it? I was crossing from the park. When this prostitute attacked me, you could see she left her mark. She will answer for her actions when you make a full report. You may rest assured, for sure, that she will answer to the court. There's a child who sorely needs me. Please, monsieur, she's not that high. Holy God, is there no mercy? If I go to jail, she'll die. I have heard such protestations every day for 20 years. Let her no more explanations save your breath. And save your tears. Honest work, just reward. That's the way to please the Lord. How have you come to grief in such a place as this? Monsieur, don't mock me now, I pray. It's hard enough I've lost my ground.
How sorry at last we see each other playing the school of bear you wear a different chair. If will you say another word to her? If will you take me up like a slave again? Listen to me, there is something I must do. This woman leave behind a suffering child. There is none but me who can intercede. In mercy's name, three days are all I need. Then I'll return, I pledge my word. Then I'll return, you must think me mad. I've hunted you across the years. Men like you can never change. A man as such as you. Believe me, what you will. And as I swear to you tonight, there is no place for you to hide. But I'll believe within my care, wherever you may hide away. And I will raise her to the light. I swear. Sky. You hold your course and your aim 
and each in your season returns and returns and is always the same. And if you fall as Lucifer fell, you fall.
my life seems to stop as if something is over and something is scarcely begun. At the moon, you're the friend who has brought me here thanks to you. I am one with the gods and heaven is near. And I saw through a world that is so new that is free.
So don't you fault, Monsieur Marius. I don't feel any pain. A little fall of rain can hardly hurt me now. Thank you. 
ruins are dead and gone. Here they talked of revolution. Here it was they lit the flame. Here they sang about tomorrow and tomorrow. My friends forgive me That I live and you are gone There's a grief that can't be spoken There's a pain that goes on and on
Oh, sir, my child, how am I forgiven now? Thank God, thank God, I live to see this day. It's you who must forgive about this fool. It's you who must forgive about this man. It's thanks to you that I am living. And again, I lay down my life at your feet. Cause it's your father, as you say to me. When they wounded me, it took me for all the battle like a babe and brought me home to you. How are you? Again beside me I can die in peace, for now my life is blessed. You will live, Papa, you're going to live. It's too soon, too soon to say goodbye. Yes, Cosette, forbid me now to go. This page, I write my last confession. Read it well when I at last am sleeping. It's the story of those who always loved you. Your mother gave her life for you, then gave him to my king. Trespasses and take me to your glory.
One day more, another day, another destiny, this never-ending road to Calvary. Each man who seemed to know my crime will surely come a second time. One day. Tonight, 
that I've not only shared Les Miserables with them, I've shared most of my professional life with them. And everyone, including the choir, the ensemble, everyone, they're all the stars of the West End. <laughs> They're here for the same reason I'm here and the same reason you're here. We love it. We love Les Miserables. But there's something extraordinary about this music. <laughs> ever since it opened 25 years in the Barbican, it, it is you, the public, that have grasped it and embraced it in the most personal way. And that's how we all feel. I, I watched the second act backstage. It was the most, it was as electrifying as it was for you outside, just because. The embrace between us and seeing everybody just love this material so much and love their fellow performers is something I have never encountered in the theatre and I never will for the rest of my life. So, the, the inspiration, of course, belongs to Victor Hugo. And Victor Hugo inspired two Frenchmen. They had to be French, of course. <laughs> Alain Mubile and Claude Michel Schoenberg to write the show with the wonderful, uplifting words of Herbert Kretzmann. Ladies and gentlemen, the authors of Les Miserables. such an emotional evening in front of such a huge and warm crowd. Uh, I must remember that 32 years ago I was asking myself one question. Would Le Miserable make a good subject for a musical? <laughs> and I wasn't conscious enough to think it was and Claude Michel crazy enough to agree with me. So tonight is the celebration of obviously the genius of Victor Hugo, of nearly 40 years of collaboration and friendship between Claude Michel and me. And 27 years of collaboration and friendship with Cameron McIntosh. of a celebration of incredible talents that we met through Cameron and namely there are the people who have helped us to reshape our work and they are James Fenton, Trevor Nunn, John Caird and master lyricist Herbert Kressler. An evening which I will remember for all my life, obviously. Uh, seeing this company of companies perform this night, this incredible evening, and the 1985 evening with whom we share so many memories, so many fond memories, is something that, you know, we'll carry away for the rest of our life. And I want to thank you, Cameron, again for making us such an incredible and overwhelming birthday present. prepare only one speech. So it's going to be the same as the one of this afternoon. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's an incredible evening for us. We are on a privilege to attend such a concert. But I'm wondering what we are doing here, really, because generally when you have a tribute for a show like that, it means that the authors, they are dead for a long time. <laughs> 
they were still here. And they are not very happy every day, those two, James and Laurence, the director of the show, that we are here because we are always looking what they're doing with, the, with our baby. <laughs> but anyway, as Alain said, it's 40 years of brothership between me and Alain, 27 years of friendship and collaboration with Cameron. Sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's very tough, <laughs> but it's always a lot of fun. And I wish that it will last a very long time. Thank you very much. Again. Fiftieth anniversary. What shall I do? I intend to be here. Now, now in, in 2002, it was Victor Hugo's bicentennial, and we decided that we would do a schools edition, so that nine, under 19-year-olds could perform the show. They've been extraordinary doing it. Hundreds and thousands of students and tens of thousands of productions have done it. And now here, just a few of them are going to be here to take part in our celebration as we come to an end tonight. They are the future. They will be doing Les Miserables when tomorrow comes.